When adjusting the flatbed slider, your first step will be to set your tractor brake and release your trailer brakes. Get out of your truck, and on the driver's side, you'll find a box with a slider valve in it. Open the box and read the directions. There you'll find a slider valve. Currently, it's pointing to the left in the lock position. You'll need to unlock pins in order to use the slider. This valve is pointed to the lock position. To unlock, simply turn the valve to the right. Unlock the front axle so it'll roll. Lock the back axle so it won't roll so you can slide forward or backwards. That will unlock the pins in the back of the flatbed. You'll find them on the left and right of the back tire on both sides of the trailer. Verify that the pins have been unlocked on both sides. Now it's time to use your slider. Get back into your truck, start it up, put it in reverse, and unlock the brakes. Slowly go in reverse, making sure the trailer slides into its final position. Go back to the slider box and turn the valve back to the left to lock the pins back into their slots. Check both sides to make sure the pins are locked. If not, slightly rock the truck until the pins lock into place. Close the slider box and latch it shut. Hop back into your truck and you're ready to go. Take note that it has to be in the closed position in California, Florida, Wisconsin, Connecticut, and New York. In Maryland, it has to open to the 10-2 spread. Here's a handy tip on how to figure your center weight on a flatbed trailer. Go to the back of the trailer and count out the back eight feet. You'll see stake pockets to help you measure. Every other white stake pocket represents two feet. That eight feet at the tail will be the distance you lose when you use the slider. This trailer is 53 feet long, minus the eight feet at the tail when you lose the slider. That gives you 45 feet of trailer in the slider position. Divide 45 feet in half, and that totals 22 and a half feet. That's your center point to balance weight. Load your product using this point, splitting the load in two, making sure the trailer weight is balanced at the center point. If in doubt, refer to the Prime app or Rand McNally Atlas to verify the process.